Now I am inside my job. How could I know? It is from the title bar. Let us go and see Candy interface. I will spend much time exploring the Candy interface. Uh, so when you start working with the software, you will feel comfort with because it is a little uh, bit different than Excel and Word. Let us start from uh, the top. The title bar tells you what company you are in and which job you are working with now. On the right, you will find the normal controls of any Windows applications, close, maximize, and minimize. The next line includes tabs. Starting uh, from the left, you will find the candy button. And I guess uh, you all know all about now. It brings you to the screens of job manager, company manager, and the data path manager. You will find the tabs. Each one of them is a separate program. You, yes, they are having a many common things and they all belong to the same project you are working with, but every program uh, gives you a unique function. For example, the module uh, that we will explore in this uh, training is estimating. And there is another module planning. It is for scheduling your project, uh, like Microsoft uh, projects and uh, Primavera. Then there are uh, link and forecast, cash flow, valuations, subcontract manager. If you get down another line, you will find menus. And under them, there are toolbar. The menu and the toolbar both belong to the activated module that you are working with now. If I go and choose another module, like planning, for example, you will find that all the menus and the toolbar have changed it to to reflect the new program you are working with and notice uh, the colors of the toolbar icons changes to each program for example planning icons are pink the estimation has uh, blue icons link and forecast is light blue cash flow is green valuations uh, is blue too like estimating and that makes uh, people uh, sometimes be confused so take care when you are working as they have different toolbars and different menus uh, and also colors change for subcontract manager uh, cost and allowables materials drawings let us get back to estimating uh, through the course i will talk about those menus and toolbar if you go to the right, you will find the version of Candy you have installed. If you want to update your software to the latest version, click support, then choose update Candy. So you can download the latest version and set up. Uh, also, you will find on the right menus uh, and toolbar. Those uh, ones are for the system. They belong they belong to all modules of candy not uh, like the menus and toolbar you find you find on the left they uh, that they belongs to only to the active uh, module you are working with uh, you can right click on the toolbar and customize the buttons that appear to you you can add uh, or remove calculator free seal game for example and so on let us now click candy so we get to the job manager again uh, if you finish your job and you want to get back up of your work so you can continue working with uh, with at home or give it give the job to another estimator to work with uh, it is so easy to get a backup right click your job and choose backup you will get it as one file for example if i want to back up this job i will right click uh, and choose backup this job by the end you will have a file with uh, extension.ccs this file you can keep uh, uh, to, for, to restore if you have your job corrupted uh, give it to another estimator to continue pricing 
give it to the site engineer to start his evaluations on it and, and so on so what if you have a backup and you want to work with you have to restore or recover the .ccs file to your candy I want to show you a, a complete project so I have a backed up uh, job uh, how could we restore let me show you and the job manager of the company you are working with from job menu choose recover job then from folder and then choose the candy demonstration job 2008.ccs file click open on the message that appear uh, choose the recover the death after finish you will find it on your job list now we have two jobs the one we have created wastewater treatment works uh, it is an empty one till now and you have a completed job called the candy demonstration job it is to show you how jobs look like when you finish this is a demonstration job let us start working with this demo job double click be sure that you are in the right job from your title bar yes so far we know how candy looks like on the top part when you work with uh, your project you will work with documents the software has many documents I will explain each one while we are in uh, our journey through the program but now let me show you how a document looks like in general and how you work with click uh, the B icon on the toolbar this will open document 1.2 pricing bill uh, notice that this document is isolated you can move it alone and it is independent what do I mean by independent I mean it is a contained program in its own so if you are working with any document please concentrate on the document you are working with and forget all about the rest of the software it is independent it has its own title bar as you see if you go and explore the document from top to bottom you will find uh, on the top left a title bar with the name of the document for example 1.2 pricing bill or the name you have created the document with if you went uh, to the top right you will find control buttons with some strange icons you will find close button you to close your document maximize and minimize buttons as usual and you will find two new buttons size to bottom half and size to the top half you will not find those ones on Microsoft Office the first one is uh, a rectangular uh, a rectangle with a white part in the bottom if you click it uh, it will ma ma minimize the document to the bottom half of your screen and the other one uh, with the white part on the top uh, uh, this will put your document to the top half of your screen let's try it that is uh, for if you for example want to drag and drop item from one document to another you put one document on the top and the other one on the bottom so you can easily drag and drop uh, there is another option but uh, on the top of all the system the magic stick close all documents this uh, close all open documents you have on the screen so the screen is empty if you open the many documents and they have a mess and won't make uh, the screen clean just click this magic stick if we go to the left again you will find menus those menus is only for these documents I will explore those menus as we go on the program if we get to the right you will find a toolbar that also belongs to this document for example this for remote and remote levels those for maximize and minimize the front the font uh, on the document this one for delete row this uh, for search and this one to export your document to excel sheet and that is very important and you will find this button in every document whenever you want to export what you see on the screen just click this button and it will go to excel uh, but with uh, no formulas of course
You also will find print search on the toolbar. Remember that all those menus and toolbar belongs to this document you are working with. So what is the document? The document is just another Excel sheet. Consists of columns and rows. To select a column, click the column selector. And to select a row, click the row selector. If you click here, you are selecting a cell. So if uh, you right click here, the context menu of the cell appears. And if you selected the column, and with right click, uh, the context menu of, a, of columns appears. If you selected uh, the row, the context menus have uh, the, com the commands that you can apply uh, to your selection, whatever it was, the column, row, or cell. Uh, take care when you want to, uh, for example, to drag a row. Make sure you are selecting the row from the row selector, not just a cell in the row. Uh, we have also, uh, like Excel, the select all uh, sheet option. It is uh, two arrows on the top left of the sheet. As you see, it is common Excel sheet. But if you look at the bottom, you will uh, find some options that is different than Excel sheet. On the left hand, you will find navigation buttons. It is uh, like the ones you can find in Microsoft Access. This arrow take you to the previous page, and this arrow take you to the next page. This will uh, take you to the first page, and this one lead you to the last page. Please notice you will find a number of pages under the name of page, the page. Uh, they are different, but uh, by default they are they have the same value at the start. Uh, you, but there is a difference between the order of pages and the name of pages. The number of the page might be different than one, two, three, four. The client might send you the BOQ uh, names of pages like uh, QS25, QS26 and so on. Uh, on the page name, you uh, can click, uh, write the name you want, and you press enter, so the name of page changes uh, to what the client BOQ looks like. Uh, so when you print the, your uh, final BOQ, it will with the same page name uh, that the client sent. On the right hand, you will find function buttons. They are special buttons to every document. Like, for example, calculate, it recalculates your uh, worksheet. Sometimes you will see a function button with uh, an up arrow beside. What does this mean? It means that this button has many options to do. You choose one from the list that appear when you click uh, the arrow. And whenever you click uh, on the button uh, after that, the last option you have configured will be done. Uh, we will see as we work with the uh, documents through our training. These options uh, are not available in Microsoft programs so to have a button that you can change its function. What if you want to, customize, uh, to do customization to your candy system? You will find a gear on the top right. It is the configure preferences. Any change you do here will be applied to all the system. Uh, I mean to all candy modules. Click the gear to customize your system. Let us choose uh, documents from, for example, from the left. Notice uh, the colors of the levels on the right pan. We will work, we will work with levels. We will know what uh, level is and how to use it uh, later in the training. But uh, here is the place you can change the colors of each level uh, you use. You have nine levels available from one to nine. Please go now and change the level background color and for color for your taste, uh, for colors uh, you like. For example, for me, I defined the red color for level one, blue for level two, and for level three, green. If you, uh, with your mouse, click the left click 
a color palette will appear so you can change the color of the text you use in the level if you right click the level a palette of colors will appear to change the background color of the level uh, notice that you have to choose first the option text colors so you can change the color of text you also has the option to change the text to be bold or italic or underlined as you can see please change the color now uh, to the ones you like as you will uh, use for the rest of the training